This is a level three math start book reviewing the concept of capacity. Room for Ripley. Carlos visited the fish at Mr. Peterson's pet store every day. The quick little guppy was his favorite. He made so many ripples when he flashed through the water that Carlos called him Ripley. He would watch Ripley until Anna, his sister, said they had to leave. Carlos wanted to buy Ripley with his allowance. First, you'll need to make a good home for your fish, said Anna. She found her old fish bowl in the attic. I used to have fish myself. I can teach you all about them, she said. Put some water in the bowl and let it sit for a while. The water needs to be room temperature. Carlos ran to the kitchen, got a measuring cup, and filled it with water. Then he poured it into the bowl. He knew he would need lots more. He just used one cup. It did not fill it to capacity. Carlos emptied another cup of water into the bowl. Now it held a pint of water. He tried to picture Ripley swimming around. A pint didn't look like nearly enough. Two cups equals one pint. Anna found a bag of gravel, some seashells, and a little blue castle. Carlos dumped some gravel into the bowl then he carefully placed the castle in the gravel. The water doesn't even reach the top of the castle, said Anna. Don't worry, I'm going to add some more, said Carlos. Carlos added two more cups, another pint. Now there was a quart of water in the bowl. That's double the water we had before. Now the whole castle is underwater, said Carlos. Four cups or two pints equals one quart. The next day, Carlos and Anna stopped at the pet store and watched Ripley play tag with another fish. Let's call the other one Wiggles, said Anna, as the two fish darted around the tank. I need some plants for my fishbowl, Mr. Peterson, said Carlos. Tomorrow I'm coming back to buy Ripley. When the plants were in place, Carlos stepped back to look at Ripley's new home. It still doesn't look like there's enough water. 
especially compared to the tank at the store, he thought. Carlos added four more cups. That made another quart of water. Now there was a half gallon of water in the bowl. Eight cups or four pints or two quarts equals a half gallon. Carlos wondered what it would feel like to swim through the castle. I hope Ripley won't miss Wiggles when he comes home, said Carlos. I think he'll be happy as long as he has plenty of water and you take good care of him, said Anna. Just be, just to be sure, Carlos put eight cups of water into a pail. Then he emptied the pail into the bowl. Now the bowl had a full gallon of water. we go. 16 cups or eight pints or four quarts or two half gallons equal a gallon. I think there's room for Ripley now, said Anna, as she attached her old filter. And by tomorrow, the water will be just the right temperature for him. That night, Carlos could hardly sleep. After school, he and Anna ran all the way to the pet store. Carlos gave his money to Mr. Peterson, who put Ripley into a little plastic bag filled with water. So long, Ripley, said Mr. Peterson. Wiggles looked a little lonely swimming around the tank without Ripley. At home, Anna told Carlos, we need to let Ripley get used to his new home. First, they floated the bag in the fishbowl. Then they emptied the bag, water, Ripley and all, into the bowl. Ripley moved around slowly. He swam around his castle. He glided through his plants. He hardly made any ripples at all. He looks kind of sad, said Carlos. I bet he misses his friend, Wiggles. Surprise, Anna shouted as she took a small plastic bag from behind her back. You added so much water that there's not only room for Ripley, there's room for Wiggles, too. Soon, Ripley and Wiggles were swimming around and playing tag again, just as happy as could be. The end. <laughs>